Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Road to Glory career mode. Today's is very special for you. We are going to make our Champions League debut my friends and I cannot wait to show you the game that's to come against Red Bull Leipzig. But just quickly before we get into that, obviously I'm going to be showing you a few things that we have to note first. Firstly, Ferrari is going to be playing CDM today, so I got him in the training to do a bit of defensive work. So when he grows pretty nicely in that regard, he's going to be an absolute beast in that role. Got a long way to go. You can see his tackling needs a lot of work, but as long as you keep training bit by bit, grind away, he's going to get really good. So yeah, looking forward to that one. But the group itself, in case you missed the last episode, looks like this. In H, we have got Atletico Madrid, Leipzig, ourselves, and CSK Moscow. So a very tough group indeed in that regard. He could argue it is the group of death, as I'm showing you some of the other tough groups in and around the Champions League. But to be honest, I'm really excited to get into it. I don't know how it's going to go. It's our first season in there with Grimsby Town. And overall, I'm feeling pretty good about the whole dynamic. I feel that if we can get the right results, if we can smash the game out, if we can grind away, get a draw in this first game, potentially, maybe move forward from there, it will all be good. So uh, I'm looking forward to showing you that game that's to come. And especially considering it is against Leipzig away in Germany. So an away day on our debut in the Champions League. Tough indeed, but I'm showing you the first game then as we go into it. It will be live, don't worry about it. I just swapped around the City side to make sure they had their best lineup. Take a look at this team, guys. It is absolutely mad just how good it actually is. Um, I just didn't even think we had a chance against City coming into this game, but I finished changing it around. You can see the players, you can see who's in it. Pretty much a strong play in every single position, more or less. It's crazy, but... Without further ado, I'm going to leave it to the capable hands of myself with the live commentary for the games against City, Leipzig and Leicester in today's episode. Sit back, relax and enjoy what is to come because you guys do not want to miss this. So I went ahead and I switched around the City team before coming into kickoff, guys. And as you can see in a moment, the side is incredible from Manchester City. It looks stupidly good, put it that way. So if anything to go by, this could be quite the tough one here. And this is the warm-up, I guess you could say, for our Champions League debut to come in the very next game following this, where we go and face Leipzig. So if you're looking at this as a somewhat warm-up, I'll see if that's going to be the case and uh, see how we play today. So uh, like I said, well, I'm hoping I said in the post part before I jumped into this live game, we have actually got Ferrari starting in CDM today. He's in training, improving his defending stats. So... That is in preparation to get him into that CDM role, make it his, basically. So that's the plan of action. We'll see if he can lock down that CDM role as his very own. Sukasev captains the side for us as we're shaking hands with some invisible referees. Hopefully they'll appear. There they are. Um, and honestly, I'm just going to take this game as it comes. I'm not expecting to win. City's side is just beyond a joke at this point in, in terms of the players they've got. So, uh, so yeah, it's going to be incredibly tough, this. For anybody wondering then, here are how the two sides that line up then. McNamee in goal for Grimsby. Captain Sukasev, Darfalu, Ramos and Tierney line up the back four. In fact, why is Peterson taking the captaincy? I did switch it to Sukasev, so I apologise for that. That's my mistake, guys. I will make sure to amend that between the next game because it should have been Sukasev. Peterson's wearing it today, though. So, uh, so yeah, we'll have to deal with that. Maybe, I don't know what's happened in that regard. But City, right? Edison starts in goal. 90 rate at this point. 86 Cancelo, 90 Koulibaly, 87 Mendy line at the back four, 91 De Bruyne, 91 Casemiro, 85 Paredes, and a front three that's 89 rated Bernardo Silva, 91 uh, Jesus, and 93 Leroy Sane. That is just ridiculous. So obviously I have to also swap out my controller because I did... Um, select sides, there it is. Um, because I did obviously swap around the sides to make it as tough as possible. So I don't want to be playing with that one. But here we go then. Game about to get underway. Blundell Park, the ground, and we are off and running for today's episode. Hoping for the very best here. What a tackle from Darfalo. What a tackle. And that sets us up on the front foot with Elena carrying. Wayne needs to make the run. And he gives him it. But that's a definite free kick ref. And a yellow card, surely, for Kulabali here. Because that was a chance for Grimsby to break. Yeah, I was going to say, thank you, ref. That's appalling. We're in as well. If I just play that pass to Weyer, we're in. But he takes us out in the process. I don't know what Casimiro's having to go at because it's a definite yellow. Without a shadow of a doubt. The fact he's even complaining just is ridiculous. Free kick wise, who am I putting on this? At the moment, we've got Barbe who looks decent. We've got uh, Ferrari as well actually. And I used to do it with McNeil. But we're actually going to give this to Ferrari. And try and see if we can get one into that corner of the goal. 
shot wasn't bad. Just lacked any accuracy. Dropping a little bit too deep defending here, wise. But as long as we keep City out, that's a great move. And at the moment, Ramos now needs to do it. Ramos done brilliantly there. And we are actually very calm playing our way out as well. Until Chris Sukasev almost loses it. But he's going to find McNeil, so we should be fine. I mean, like I said, you know, we're going to get tested today. And here is Kieran Tierney talking about a test. It's now one for Manchester City. Tierney drives forward and he's run it into a City player. And that takes us into half time. Well read from the City back line. And at the moment, we just can't find a clear-cut chance from 45 minutes of football. Just the one shot to show for it. And I believe it came from the free kick anyway. So overall, in terms of a first half, we've kind of neither side been able to break anyone down. We've tried to do it. They've tried to do it. And both teams very resilient defensively as Pep Guardiola getting frustrated with his City side on the touchline. You can see not happy with whatever's going on out there. But for us, defensively, sound so far. We're going to see if we can keep it up in the second half. Oh, that's absolute bull. That is absolute bull. We've just conceded from our own mistake. I can't believe I've done that. I genuinely can't believe I did it. Bernardo Silva scores, but I want you to see how this actually pans out. So I throw the ball here to Darfalu. Then try and play out to my left back in Kieran Tierney. McNamee, I understand, is a goalkeeper. Not necessarily the best playing with his feet. But even so, in that position, there's so much that we do wrong there to allow City the opportunity. And a team against us like this, we could avoid that. You know, it's not like we're playing a bottom side team. Look at their team before we came into kickoff. It's probably 10 times better than what we've got. They got 90 rated players, for goodness sake. And we're giving them goals like that. It's frustrating when I do stuff like that because it's my own fault. I can blame the game all I want. But truthfully, that was me. As Barbe should have scored. Ugh, Christ's sake. Why can't I put those in? <sighs> sort it out, seriously. I'm, I'm frustrating myself here because I've given them a goal for nothing. And now I do that. Craft the chance and do that with it. Ferrari. Tierney. Now Barbe. Still. We'll play the ball inside to Alenia. Alenia with a bit of space. Still the Spaniard. Alenia going to get a shot away and ask the question... Of Edison, it's going to be incredibly difficult to beat today, isn't he? Because, let's face it, it could have easily been a nil-nil this one and we got a point. But it's not how the game's panning out. A couple of changes then. Guendouzi and Kubo both on. Trying to change the outcome of this one. We've got 27 minutes as the goal scorer Bernardo Silva goes off the field of play. Whip that corner in. Up we go! Straight at Edison from Darfalu, though. Here is Kubo. Kubo, Takefusa, off the bench to score for Grimsby. Yes. Ten minutes left. Edison beaten. Grimsby won. City won. And we've deserved that. Massively deserved it. City's goal came about from our mistake. And they've done nothing all game. I'm more frustrated at myself than anything really though. That is the big bit. I'm just playing shocking here today. And Kubo saves us with a left footed strike into the top corner. Do not let this slip. We cannot lose the game from here. They've done nothing. They've had one shot and we gave it to them. They've not broken us down. We've defended resiliently all game long. If we get broken down by one chance and concede it, I will be fuming. As this could be it. Sterling, down the right. Puts the cross in. Sukasev smashes away. Oh, we've stolen the ball back here. It's Tim Weyer. Alenia on one side. There is Alenia. Look at Kubo in the middle. Alenia's ball back stick. And there is It's Edison. Straight at him. When you need a little bit of quality and we haven't found it again. Oh, outrageous. That was the moment we could have stolen the game here. It's going to end 1-1, I believe, here. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for game one at Blondell Park. City won. Grimsby won. And to be honest, I only have myself to blame the way we conceded that goal. At least we got ourselves back in the game. I mean, again, this is the moment, though, right here. When you actually look at it from this angle at first, I genuinely look how far away City are at this point. McNamee throws it. Yes, there's a man running. But why is Darfalu taking one, two, three, four steps back before coming towards the ball? Which then causes us to have to panic and play it back. I mean, Darfalu has to take responsibility because, he, as I said, the question is, why is he taking so many steps away before coming to the ball? You've got to go and meet it, you know? That is one thing you have to do. And as you guys know, I hate kicking the ball out from goal kicks. I always like to roll it or, or play it short because normally I lose the ball. So I've always played that way. It's not like it's something new. It's just frustrating. Now, ladies and gentlemen, how many Grimsby Town fans could have ever dreamed of this? They are about to make their debut away in Germany 
in the Champions League. This is the part where I'd sing my best Champions League impression, but I haven't really got one, to be honest. Um, now, the issue here is Ramos is out. He's not allowed to play. He's got a suspension in the Champions League, which means 20-year-old Rodriguez comes in to the centre-back role. Rodriguez Lima makes his debut for Grimsby Town tonight in his first performance. And I've just realised I haven't changed it and edited him, so he's going to have the basic boots, but honestly, I'm not bothered. Um, other than that, you may notice as well, Kieran Tierney starting at left attack in midfield. That's because I know for sure that when the game begins, Leipzig do have um, quite the adept wingers. I feel that on the right hand side will be fine. We're starting Chris Sukasev, obviously McNeil, our danger man. And having Tierney on there, he'll be able to get back. But also, I've been impressed with him going forward recently. So I'm going to give him a nod at left attacking midfield, which means, of course, Elena on the bench tonight. But that's just precautionary. I think if I have to, I'll bring off Ferrari and replace him with Elena. But we'll see. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, for our debut in the Champions League. And let's just not lose the game. That's, that's the only thing I really want, is to avoid defeat here. If we can grab a win, fantastic. I would happily accept a draw away in Germany. I said this was a group of death. I still feel that that is the case. So let's just avoid the defeat, please, guys. And here we go then. Kickoff is underway. I've seen Julian Brandt as well for, uh, for Leipzig. And he's playing on the right. There he is on the ball now for the first time tonight. One of their danger men. They've probably got quite a few here. And uh, until we actually get to grips with Champions League football, it could be quite the game here. We could be on the back foot for large parts of this one. We'll see, though. There's immediate chance already looking like it's going to present itself. Sucker said, though, steps in brilliantly and just smashes away. I don't want to risk us making a mistake, so I'm not going to try and hold on to the ball too much tonight in terms of defensive areas and play out right from the back. I'm just going to try and get the ball clear. But here already is a breakaway for Kieran Tierney. This is what I was talking about when I said he's been impressing me going forward lately. Tierney going to find the ball inside to Kubo. Who gets the ball under control and Kubo's shot. Well saved by Sillerson. Could have been the dream start for Grimsby Town here. Tierney bursting down the left. Gets the ball off to Kubo. Who opens the space up brilliantly for the shot. And the left hand of Sillerson gets down well. McNeil's corner going to be put in straight away. Up goes the Davidson. Rodriguez Lima unable to win the header. Here is Weyer again winning the header. And Tierney sent through. Tierney beats the keeper as well to it. But Sillerson gets there. With the save, and Tierney could have opened a scoring up for Grimsby Town. It's still Grimsby, though, with the possession and the play currently. As Marcelo, a little bit of trickery to get himself in a good position, finds Tierney. Tierney to Ferrari. Ferrari flicking to Kubo. Kubo on the shot. Saved by the keeper. Up goes Weyer, and it's punched over again. Chances galore here for Grimsby. Tierney. Tierney. Over the top ball. Weyer chasing. Tim Weyer's got pace. Has he got the legs, though, to get there? Not quite. Smashed in a touch, a minute to play until half-time here for Grimsby Town to try and find this opening goal. They've been asking questions all half. Not yet got on the score sheet though. Ferrari to Peterson, Peterson to McNeil. McNeil to finish! And McNeil puts us 1-0 up in the Champions League! Red Bull leaves Ignil. Grimsby won just before half-time. Shane McNeil, the number seven, gets it again. You absolute bald beauty, Shane! Get in! The first Champions League goal of the series. And it just had to fall to Shane McNeil. Who will put it in? I mean, Sillison again is close. McNeil's finish is not quite as good as he has been in recent weeks. But we do not give a damn about that. Because the ball is in the net. And Grimsby lead their first ever Champions League game. Come on. Don't know if you saw that as well. Just there, McNeil punched the Grimsby down, uh, the Grimsby Town badge just before he walked off that's a sign that he belongs to this club and he is here fighting for this club and he is the man who's given us the lead at half time in our first ever Champions League game elsewhere Atletico and Moscow both drawing in that game which means of course they will only pick up the point from our group Barcelona beating Celtic Monaco beating Valencia and Spurs drawing with Lokomotiv Moscow too Wow, dream, dream start here in the Champions League for us. Couldn't really ask for a better way to go. We've dominated that first half as well. And that is something that I did not expect to see. But to be fair, you can see how fast they are at moving the ball as well. It reminds me so much like when we when we take on certain sides in the Premier League, they're pretty slow in doing things. Whereas here, they're wasting no time, Leipzig. Every time they get that ball, they're so quick in doing what they're doing. Tierney going to look for Weyer, who's got the legs. And Liete's with him though. Tim Weyer keeps hold. There is absolutely nothing in that ref. He's just given a free kick for nothing. Julian Brandt's gone off here. Forsberg has come on in his place. So uh, Leipzig trying to make a change happen because Brandt's done pretty much nothing tonight. It's not been his fault though. It's been difficult for him to get into the game as we find Barbet. 
Pace to burn here, Barbe, and he's still going right to the byline. Look at this from Barbe. Needs to find the best cutback possible. Weyer will be found, and it's not quite there. Kubo and Weyer stood too close to each other, I think, in the end, and that causes a bit of problems when it came to trying to find the shot. Darfalu found on the edge of the area. He's going to find Alenia. Alenia wants more. To Rodriguez Lima, not quite. I mean, why are we trying to back here? Let's just play a, a, a normal pass and we'd have been fine. Last minute, last minute. Come on, boys, hold on to this. This is a big win for us in the Champions League. If we can get this, I'll be absolutely buzzing. 20 seconds left. Five seconds left. Alenia blocks it behind. It's a corner ball. Are you joking? Don't do it to me. Do not do it to me. Leipzig fans behind their team right now. Don't do this. This is the last kick of the game, guys. Just clear the ball. And there we go. It's smashed away by Peterson, I believe. And that should do it. Any time now, ref. Thank you. Leipzig nil. Grimsby won in Germany. We have won our debut in the Champions League. Was not an easy game, but we took out everything we could. We laid it on the line and we have got our just reward here tonight. That is huge. As I mentioned about, you know, looking at the player ratings and such, Peterson picked up man of the match. We had McNeil playing at an eight rating. Obviously, the goal from McNeil, a difference tonight. Assist-wise, Peterson got that assist. But if you look at passes completed, Kieran Tierney had a performance to uh, remember. So did Ferrari. Nine out of ten passes completed. Dribbles-wise, Tierney again was the highest amount. But this is the part I was telling about. Tackles one. Tierney four of five. Ferrari two of three. Not even including his interceptions there. The Italian had a much better game in that CDM role tonight. Alenia and Weyer. I mean, Weyer just had one of those days where he just didn't really get going, did he? Um... Unfortunately for Tim, zero out of two shots on target. Not quite good enough, I'm afraid. When you consider as well, we actually only had one out of one for McNeil and he scored it. That is a tremendous finish. Match rating wise, Peterson up there. Tierney only a 7.4. I thought he played better than that. But still, for a first game in the Champions League, guys, I couldn't be happier. And away then from Champions League for the moment, back to Premier League. We've got Leicester City away from home at the King Pass Stadium. Just let you guys know, we're five games into the Premier League season and Abubakar for Everton has scored eight goals already. Eight in five for Abubakar, which is just tremendous. It's a ridiculous return. Um, Rodriguez Lima didn't have the, the worst debut in the world at all. He did all right in the game, in the Champions League. But we've got Ramos back, so he comes back into the starting eleven today. We'll see what their side looks like in game. Leicester City up next. Let's get back to winning ways in the Premier League, hopefully here with a win. So, we're undefeated in the Premier League then. Five games in, four wins, one draw. Everton exactly the same with us as well at the top of the table. And as I mentioned, Abubakar scoring eight goals in the process. There is that, there is that confirmation. And I thought Tim Weir's four and five was good. <laughs> and Abubakar's smashing it with eight goals already for the season. Like, yeah, I mean, what can I do in that scenario? Just have to continue, don't we? And try and grab Weir a couple of more goals here. Barbe starts, by the way, today. And so does uh, Kubo. And then you're back to the bench. Again, it's difficult trying to fit everybody in. In fact, no, Elaine, you're starting. Sorry, I think Kubo's on the bench, if I remember. Yeah, that's the way we did it. But for Leicester, Ward starts in goal for them. The back four involves Lindelof and Chris Smalling, ex-Manchester United defenders. Brozovic and Decore as the two holding midfielders. Abdullah Decore, unbelievable as well, by the way. I love Decore. Sola and Iwobi with Barnes and Thomas, which is, I don't know, it's a weird side for Leicester. They've got really good players, but then some other players, I'm thinking, what are you doing? Dorgan Hazard on the bench as well for them, I believe that was. Not Eden, so uh, we'll see. Faraz McNamee, Sukasev, Darflu, Ramos and Tierney. Alongside that, Peterson and Ferrari back in his role in that CDM. McNeil, the goal scorer, the hero of Champions League. And that went so fast. Why did it just skip? I don't know. You saw anyway. Elenia and Barbe and then, of course, way up front. That is how we've ended it off. So strong bench as well to call upon should we need to. As the substitute of Take Fusa Kubo scored against Manchester City to give us a draw is needed and if we have to bring him on we certainly will as we find Barbe immediately two minutes in here and Barbe is going to take on his man go around him still Barbe and still a couple of step overs no wrong pass to play though mate Ferrari Barbe Elena Barbe good interchangeable play but Wayers run the same way every single time we get in a position like this we have a player runs the exact same way which means we can't play the pass we're hoping for as we find McNeil Shane McNeil in towards the box chips it Back across to absolutely nobody. Barbe, though, picks up the loose ball. The minute we're not finding that final pass that we need. We're wasting the opportunity a couple of times. Ferrari found by Barbe. And still Ferrari. Now Barbe. Now Alenia. Good football. Alenia shot. Straight at the goalkeeper, though. Much better from us to break them down. This time we get the shot away. It's not quite there. Barbe. Tierney. Again. Got a wanderer left peg on him. Can he get the cross though? There is delivery. Leicester have won every single cross that's been put in towards their box at the moment. 
as again Tierney tries to beat his man and this time we'll put another one in. This time it's one in the box and this time it's in the back of the net. The breakthrough for Grimsby. It's been coming in this first half. You have to say that. We've largely been on the edge of their area for more than half an hour, I would say. And it's Alenia who nods home in his new role in that camp position. But I spoke about the wonderful left peg of Kieran Tierney and we saw it there. His form continues. Assist for him today. Leicester will be disappointed. They've won every single ball that's been put in that box today. But here's the first one they haven't won. And we profit with Alenia scoring from close range. Grimsby won. Leicester City nil just before half time. And this, my friends, is how it looks at the break. Look at this. Two shots, both from Alenia here. One goal, 70% of possession for Grimsby Town, though. And 42% of that has been in Leicester City's final third. That is tremendous. Only the single percent for both sides in our half. We have battered them in that first half. We've been camped on the edge. Clearly, their game plan is to sit back and try and stop us scoring, which hasn't worked here. And now they must evolve and try and adapt and get themselves back in this game in the second half. We'll see what they try and do to change that. As Peterson looks over the top towards Shane McNeil. Good header away from Leicester. Second half on the way. Ferrari. Barbe, he's got the pace. Has he got the final product though? Barbe gets into the box, crosses as well. It was a very, very good ball, all things considered. Into the danger area. Ferrari. No, McNeil. 63 minutes in. Ferrari continues his run. He's going to be found by Shane McNeil. Three Leicester City players here trying to stop that cross coming in. And so far they've done that. Ferrari will find Alenia. Alenia though. On that left foot, I was looking for the shot, I'm not going to lie, but couldn't get the space to do it. Now Ferrari found again, as still Grimsby Town try to build. There is everybody barring the striker back for Leicester City, and we find McNeil. Offside flag stays down, McNeil's delivery. Barbe was the intended target, all six foot three of him. He didn't get anywhere near it, but again, we're seeing the, con we're seeing the pattern. First half, we dominated possession, we were completely in their half. It's continuing as Barbe finds Tierney, who again is in the box now. Tierney towards Weyer. Why is he chesting it towards goal? Do you know what? This has to be done because Weyer at the minute, it, it, it's like he's, 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 I don't know. I don't really know what he's trying to do. Big Chris Sukasev just jumps up and wins it with ease as we find Barbe again. Now, please actually run this time as Barbe will do that and get the shot away as well. And Clorentine Barbe scores. 2-0 Grimsby game set a match here at the King Park Stadium. Is that Barbe's first goal for the club as well? It might just be. We will find that out. Or at least I think it's his first Premier League goal for the club. With five minutes to go, Grimsby have secured the three points. The Leicester have been poor. You have to say that. We have been by far the better side. Totally dominant here today. And that is courtesy of a tremendous performance from players out there. Good effort from Barbe. The five-star weak foot. We talk about how important it is. And I can't wait to see how important he is going to be for the club. He's still very young as well, Barbe. Is that going to be, though, his first Premier League goal? Let's find that out. And uh, it is his first Premier League goal. Fair play. Well done, son. McNeil. Sukasev. There's the last minute of play. And Chris Sukasev going forward, finding Kubo. Kubo! <laughs> oh, well, that wasn't the finish I was aiming for. <laughs> and that is going to be the end of the game, guys. 2-0 victory over Leicester City here. Convincing. Tremendous. Happy with all the above here. Guendouzi picked it up just for that one as McNeil smashes one long. Referee, you couldn't blow your whistle now. And there it is. Full time comes. It's another three points for us. Back to winning ways as well in the Premier League. I mean, there wasn't a lot that happened. You can see from the game there, look at that. But if you look at the match facts, pfft. I mean, what is that? What is that? 6% of possession in our half is what Leicester had. We had 39 in theirs. We had more possession in their half of the field than anywhere else. Sorry, their third, sorry. That is tremendous. And now we have the Carabao Cup round three, Liverpool. Bit of an unfair, unfortunate draw, really. I don't know how on earth we've managed to pull them in this round, but I'm not interested, really, in the Carabao Cup. I know it is a cup competition, but when you weigh up the advantages of playing in it and, and then the disadvantages, I would quite happily go out to Liverpool without a shadow of a doubt. The money you get for winning it, it's just not worth it, honestly. Um, and to be fair... It's not something that I've ever been interested in. The FA Cup, on the other hand, it's a different story. You get a bit more money, a bit more of a, of a feeling around it, if you will. And yeah, um, so we're 1-1 in the game so far. Lania scoring and Salah opening up the scoring for Liverpool. As we go into the last 10 minutes of the game, this could go to extra time and penalties, this. This isn't going to be ideal because, yeah, 5-4 we go through in the Carabao Cup then into round four. 
Surprisingly, we defeated Liverpool there. Was not expecting to see that. Um, quite surprised with that one. So, yeah. And that, my friends, is going to be the end for today. I want to thank you all so much for your support and thank you for watching this episode. If you did enjoy it, a like would be greatly appreciated. We did a lot today. We made our debut in the Champions League, winning the game by a goal to nil with McNeil scoring to, uh, to make sure of that one. We then faced City, obviously, before that as well. Ended up with a 1-1 draw after a disappointing mistake made by us. 2-0 win at Leicester, though, was the highlight of today's episode. The performance there was astounding. And getting through in the Carabao Cup was obviously ideal too. I mean, I don't even know what's to come in that one. We've got Forest Green Rovers next in the round of 16. So we should quite convincingly get through that. Next episode out though, we face West Brom. And then we go to CSK Moscow. Oh, sorry, we face them on at home, I think. Followed by Brighton away, um, Liverpool at home. And we've got Atletico coming up as well in October. So I'm looking forward to that game. So I'm not sure what's to come in terms of who we will play and who we will what we will do. But I know for sure we will definitely be playing against Moscow and we'll be definitely playing against Liverpool as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And like I said, if you enjoyed it, leave a like rating, guys. Thank you all so much for your support. If you're new around here, like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. We upload every single day at 4 p.m., sometimes twice a day. So if you want to be notified whenever new videos go live, make sure you have notifications turned on alongside the subscription button. And until next time, guys, enjoy your weekend. And I will see you all again very, very soon for another episode of Career Mode. Catch you all again later. Adios.